No matter how pissed off we get with video games and the industry at times, there's a way to display your displeasure. I, myself, created a YouTube channel. So if I want to get excited about something, I post it here. And if I want to get pissed at something, I also post it here. So when I go out into the real world, I interact with human beings normally. What you're going to see in today's video, don't do this. Don't. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to see something a little bit weird and definitely not the sort of thing that you should be doing uh, if you're a bit pissed off with something. But there's a few things which I just need to state uh, before I actually show the video off. Number one, this is a GameStop. Now, I know just because the person put it here, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is. But at the end of the recording, we hear the guy saying, this is GameStop. So that is confirmed. As regards to the whatever copy of the video game he's returning, that is never proven at any point. Nor does it matter what video game this guy is returning. The reason why it says Fallout 76 in the title and the thumbnail is because of where the video comes from, which is now up on the screen. The link is in the description down below so you can see the original source. So this could be a joke. Uh, this could be a joke, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. But as I stressed, nor should it matter, because the behavior of the person in the video is just utterly ridiculous. And this is not Bethesda's fault. This is not the fault of a video game. This is the fault of the individual in the video itself. So, let's go and have a look at it. That's so crazy. I want my money back. There's nothing that I can do about it. That's just their policy. Like, it won't even come back in as a return to a brand new game. That's when I scan your receipt, it's going to see when this one was bought, and it's going to automatically give you trade credit. Okay. So, we can clearly hear what went on there. The guy is trying to return a video game, and yes... You can see Fallout 76 here, but it doesn't mean anything, absolutely anything at all. Now, the person behind the counter is being cool and calm. Regardless of the policy of GameStop, whether you agree with them or disagree with them, I think the guy is being very clear indeed. He's saying that when he scans the video game, it's not going to scan back in as new. It's not going to scan back in his return. It's going to scan as a trade-in. And he'll get the trade value for the product. Now, I live in the UK. I don't live in the US. So I don't know what your return policy laws are. All I can say is what they are here in the UK. And because Fallout 76 has been out for a week now. After Tuesday's over. It's been out for a week. If I return a video game. It has to be factory sealed. For me to get a full refund. It has to be factory sealed. I haven't interfered with the seal at all on the product. If I, after a week of having the product, attempt to return it for a full refund and the seal's broken on it and the game has obviously been opened up and possibly played, in the UK, they will not give you a return. Period. The seal has been broken. The game has been played. If you want to trade it in, you can trade it in. And again, I must stress, it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with these policies. These are the policies. At least this is what they are in the UK. If they are anything like that in the US, I fully understand why the person behind the counter is saying what they're saying. You also heard the chap who's attempting to return the video saying, I'm getting pissed off now. I'm getting pissed off. And then this happens. How you doing, Razor? Okay. Thank you for calling the game. Stop this is Brian. How can I help you? Uh uh. uh. And it goes around and we see part of the face of the person who's actually recording this. 
Now, uh, before I go into something, because this video has got a few red flags for me, which we'll go into. Uh, but first of all, uh, the chat behind the counter who identifies himself as Brian. Uh, Brian, uh, you, sir, are a hero. You're a, you're, a, you're a really good guy. You kept your cool, you kept your calm, and you did the right thing. Um, you didn't try and apprehend the guy. You just let him do his thing. Let the police get him later on. You answered the phone, and you answered the phone really well, really, really nicely. Dude, you are professional. You deserve a pay rise. You deserve a bonus. You deserve some credit uh, because you shouldn't have to go through that type of behavior in a game store. And uh, I doffed uh, my cap to thee, sir. And so let's just go through some of the red flags. Now, before I do, though, I wanted to say one thing. If I am to give the person recording the video the benefit of the doubt, okay? We catch this conversation partway through. No store credit. I want my money back. As you can tell by that, he's saying no store credit. So there has been conversation which has gone on between the chat behind the counter and the customer here. So maybe if I'm to give credit to the, the person recording it, maybe the chap here is getting irate and so the guy turns his camera on because he sees this guy getting irate and he wants to record what's going to happen just in case something happens. That is if I'm giving them credit. The red flags come to me in a couple of ways. Number one, if that's not the case, why is he recording this? Why is he recording this? This is an everyday event in a game shop. People buy games, people trade games, and people return games. This is a normal series of events. Now, we saw from the end, he's not dressed up like a GameStop employee. He seems to have a grey hoodie on, a light grey hoodie on, which isn't the uniform. Might mean something, might not mean anything. But I'm, I'm going to work off the theory that he isn't an employee of games stop, of GameStop. Also, if I just adjust the camera slightly here, here you can clearly see the shop's video camera. So why would he need to record it if the shop's video camera is picking it up anyway? So I don't believe that this person is a employee of GameStop. But as regards to why he's actually filming this, unless this person's been screaming and shouting, I don't see any reason to. And judging by the fact, even though the guy's pissed off, listen to the, the tone of his voice. No store credit. I want my money back. There's nothing that I can do. This guy isn't, isn't screaming and shouting. Even though he goes crazy at the end and trashes the store, he's not screaming and shouting. So there's no technical red, you know, alarm bells which should go off with somebody to say, hey, I should record this. So is there some sort of cahoots here? Is the person who's recording the video with the chap? Did they come in together? Uh, these are things that we don't know. Is the relationship between the person recording it and the person in the video? Did the person say, if I don't get a refund for my video game, I'm going to trash the store to his friend? And so his friend decides to record it just in case. Speculation. This is complete speculation, but it's just a red flag. A red flag because this is a normal, everyday event in a video games store. Also, as we just push on the video slightly, as he's trashed the store, just just listen to the chat behind the camera. He appears to, to snigger. He appears to be sniggering at what's going on. Now, you could make your own mind up. To me, it kind of came across as a snigger. And then after that, when the chap answers the uh, telephone, he has a very exaggerated end to the video, the way that he responds. Uh... Uh, so that's that's not a that's a not a natural reaction. That's a forced uh, reaction. Now maybe he's forcing the reaction because he's recording it, and therefore he's like, yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, hey folks, that's the end of the video. Post it up on Instagram. 
But this is this is kind of like red flag stuff. Uh, it just doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel right that this guy should be recording this event. Uh, I'm glad he did record the event and get it up there because the police should have a nice clear identification of the uh, of the chap here. And uh, fingers crossed, uh, he should be apprehended pretty pretty quickly, pretty swiftly. But folks, regardless of how we feel about a video game, regardless of how pissed off we are with a, a gaming company, this is not this is just not civilized behavior. This is just not normal behavior. A normal person doesn't do this. It's it's a video game at the end of the day. Uh, this person's disposition makes him act like this. Not that it's a Fallout game or a Pokemon game or a Battlefield game. Whatever game it was that he was trying to return. That's got nothing to do with it. The company's not responsible. The company's got nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's the person's disposition. But this is just um, a really, really weird event that happened. And mm, it's authenticity. I don't know. I would, I would say that this is dubious. I would say the authenticity of this is a little bit dubious indeed. But there you go. Maybe the person, you know, I should give the, the benefit of the doubt to him. Maybe he was getting a little bit excited and that's the reason why the chap decided to record stuff that was going on. But uh, I'll let you make your own mind up about what went on here. But I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.